welcome to another edition of KCBC News. I'm your host, Lisa Cutts, and we got a great show for you today. Today, it's all about our 29th annual Help the Hooch. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. back with Adrian Hi. from Columbus Waterworks. We're so glad to have you here. For the community that may not know who you are, tell them a little bit about yourself, what your name is, your full okay. name, and what you do. All right, well, I won't give you my full legal name, but I'm Adrian Deering, and I work at the Columbus Waterworks. I have been fortunate to have been there for 17 years now, and I work in the communications department, and it allows me to come out and do great things with organizations like yours, to keep Columbus beautiful, several other areas in the community, and I also get to play on social media, graphics design, all that kind of stuff, so it's, it's a great job. You have a fun job. Yes. You yes. need to join our team full time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so um, Adrian, yes. this is not your first, even though this is your first time um, chairing and being an yes, official part of the Help the Hooch Committee, this is not your first run with Help the Hooch. Explain, because yeah. Columbus Waterwork is such a great sponsor, and they've been such a sponsor for so long. Yes, ma'am. I mean, it's like, keep Columbus beautiful, Columbus Waterwork, we go hand in hand. We do, we do. That's because our missions are so closely aligned. It really is. We, we both work so heavily towards protecting our environment, making sure our community has what they need from the resources up to be able to be what we are today. And, and my experience with Keep Columbus Beautiful has been in small pieces with Help the Hooch. I've always been joining in with helping to get the word out and helping to volunteer. Um, I've been able to come out and do some cleanups. I've chased tires down ramps on uh, Lake Oliver, and it's, it's exciting. Every year is a new challenge, and it's a new group of people, and it's a lot of fun. Absolutely, so. and it is really important um, that you say you, you not only helped out with the planning and assisting yeah. um, the chairman um, from Columbus Waterworks, yes. but you as well joined in the yes, fun, you did the cleanup. Yes. It's always, I always say a cleanup effort is the easiest way to just make good friends and yes. have a good time and definitely. do something for the environment and your community at the same time. Exactly. So it's a win-win. It definitely is. It definitely okay. is. Okay, well just stay tuned guys, we will be right back. We're live here again with Counselor Toya Tucker. And what do you do, Counselor Tucker? Keep Columbus beautiful. That's right. <laughs> Welcome back. We are live here at the beautiful banks of the Chattahoochee River, shooting live on Rock Island. And I have for you the other co-chair for our 29th annual Help the Hooch. Today is all about helping the hooch. We have for you, tell them your name for those who may not know. Yes, I am. I am Latavia Rivers. I'm with the Georgia Business Center in Columbus, Georgia. We're located at 185 Exit 12 here in Columbus, Georgia. Okay, and what is your title with the Business Bureau? I'm the manager of the Business Center here in Columbus. Okay, yes. and I'm sure we see you all over the place. Yes. S explain to the public, what do you do in your everyday life as the manager of that? As a manager, we help visitors that come to Columbus. We get help them to explore Georgia, making sure that we see not just Columbus, all over the state the hotels, restaurants, attractions, anywhere that they can explore, bed and breakfast, whatever they may need, we are here to help explore Georgia. And so that actually makes us partners because yes. we're trying to keep it clean and beautiful. So to yes. get these guests to come on in and enjoy it and, and feel like comfortable and not litter field while they're here, that's why the 29th annual Help the Hooch is so important. Um, have you, I know this is your first year being a part of the official committee, the Help the Hooch committee, but this is not your first time dealing with Help the Hooch. Explain what you've done in the past with Help the Hooch. Oh, yes, ma'am. I volunteered with um, West Rock. Um, I was able to help part of cleaning up the river, had a great, me a great time doing that, and I'm happy to be back as a committee member as well, too. That is so awesome. And um, hopefully you're finding it fulfilling. We've been working. We've had meetings back to back. 
And this is our first one since the um, official one pre-pandemic where we don't have any, any type of restrictions. So it's going to be a great one. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Um, stay tuned. We will be right back, and we're going to talk to both co-chairs when we get back. I'm Lauren Money with Columbus Botanical Garden, and you're watching KCBC News. back live and I have the co-chairs for the 29th annual Help the Hooch here. We are still out here on this very kind of hot day guys. Yes. Thank you for um, <laughs> staying with the task and, and being a part today because it's so important. Citywide cleanup is all about helping cleaning up the hooch. All of the watersheds, parks, lakes, stream that flow through the city of Columbus and surrounding areas, all of those water streams and parks, they flow right here to the Chattahoochee, and it's so important to keep it clean. The event will take place on October the 6th, which is our school campus cleanup, and on October the 7th is our citywide cleanup. We have Phoenix City, Fort Moore, and Harris County that will be participating. Um, guys, um, we're taking registration now. Tell them a little bit about um, registration, how you can register. Okay. Well, registration is actually really simple. If you just go out to Facebook and search for Keep Columbus Beautiful, Help the Hooch, there's a link right there for registration. There's also flyers all over town with a QR code that you can scan. And that QR code, if you scan that with your phone, it'll bring you right into registration, fill out the form. And the last way, which is even simpler, is just to go on to the city's website and Keep Columbus Beautiful's website, and there's a link there for registration. Lots of great ways to register before our event. And right now, registration is going very, very yes. well. Very yes. well. Registration is going very well. But we want to keep it coming. The pre-pandemic numbers were 10,000 upward of 12,000. Yes. And we're trying to get back to those numbers. But it takes you out there to help reach those numbers. And Lativia, we call on all of the organization. What yes. organization, if you had to call out right now, who would you call on? The Boys and Girls Inc. Yes. The Boys and Girls Club. Um, and Columbus and Phoenix City as well. Oh yes, yes. they are a part. Yes. And I think you have worked with the Girl Scouts as well as the Boys Scouts. Yes, Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts, yes. Yes, they're always a big part. They have an opportunity to get receive patches and rockers. Yes. And so we give, we give a lot of treats. But this year, for the first time since 2019, we're bringing back the Watershed yes. Festival. That's the uh, Watershed Very Big, excited. Big Fun. Yes. Great. Yes. We're gonna host the Watershed Festival this year at Golden, Golden Park. Park. <laughs> <laughs> Golden Park. It will be at Golden Park. There's going to be food. There's going to be giveaways. Um, there's going to be all our environmental partners yeah. having vendor um, vendor booths set up. Yes. They'll have giveaways. And we're also going to have the official 29th annual Help the Hooch t-shirt. All while yes. supplies last. <laughs> yes. So just come out for a great day of giving back to this community that we all love so much. Um, and, you know, Register, register, register. I have to keep saying register. If you want to be a part of the solution, you got to come out. And the solution for what we're dealing with now is litter. We're at an all-time high with litter in our city, and it's across the board throughout the country and the world right now. But we want to do our part right here in Columbus, Georgia, with our 29th annual Help to Hooch to make sure that yep. we're keeping Columbus clean, Phoenix City, Fort Moore, and surrounding areas. And in closing, is there anything you guys want to add in before we close out? Just come out and support us. We'll, we'll see you there. Yep. Bring your kids. Kids love to get involved. That's a great way to show them how it helps, how picking up litter and all the things that they need to be doing to be good stewards of our community. Bring them out. They'll have a great time. Stay tuned. We'll be, we'll be right back. But you heard it here. 29th Annual Help the Hooch. What's up is down, what's left is right. 
chasing stars and holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. Today, um, it's with deep sadness, I would like to send out condolences to the family of William Kent. He was the environmental manager for Columbus Waterworks, as well as a longtime board member of the Keep Columbus Beautiful Commission, as well as the current chair of the Keep Columbus Georgia Beautiful Commission. He will be deeply missed. Hats off to you, William. Job well done. Well, we gave you a lot of information today, and we hope you will join us for our 29th annual to help the hooch. Check our website, our social media platforms. We have commercials going, but it's important for you to register, register, register. And please, if you have, need additional information, give us a call at 706-225-4008. Let's go over it one last time. October the 6th, our school campus cleanup. October the 7th, our citywide cleanup with the Columbus, Phoenix City, Fort Moore, as well as Harris County. That same day, we will be hosting our hazardous household waste collection at our recycling center. On location, for the very first time since 2019, our Watershed Festival, which is a big thank you for all of our volunteers. Lots of food fun for the whole family, as well as the kickoff for the KCBC's shoe recycling program. You can just drive through and drop off any unwanted shoes and keep those shoes out of our landfills. Until next time, I'll ask the question that I always do, what are you doing to keep Columbus beautiful?